Max, when you go to meet a friend, like, how do you say hello to them? Hello. Oh, well, yeah, that's a good way to start. Do you think Jesus started with, hi, I'm God? <coughs> what would he say? Uh, maybe, I love you. What would Jesus say to you, Max? Uh, I'll keep you safe. And I love you. How do you become a friend of Jesus? Uh, by being, by being yourself. For someone who doesn't know Jesus or God, what would you tell them about God? When Jesus loves you every day of your life. Yeah, Jesus loves you every day of your life. And he loved you greater than any of your parents. Stop coughing me, Max. I'm coughing you. What do you think makes Jesus laugh? Uh, jokes, maybe. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Who do you think Jesus' friends were when he was little? Uh, John. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, yes. Like John the Baptist. This is a good thought. I met Lazarus in kindergarten, you think? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Jesus' superpower was? Uh, maybe to make crops grow and and make animals live. Oh, that's a good one. What do you think, Max? Healing people. <laughs> Healing people? That's a good one. Okay, so how do you think Jesus ran in sandals? Uh, maybe he put on... Do, do you think he had tennis shoes, too? No, but he probably put on a type of sandal that would wrap around his ankle, too. Mm, so he had the he had the special ones that laced up on the side. Yeah. Maybe that's where Nike got their inspiration, do you think? <laughs> Maybe. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. I feel like this is going on and on. What you, what games do you think Jesus played? Do you think he played Duck Out Goose? <laughs> Maybe he played uh, Hacky Sack. Oh, Hacky Sack. You know, I don't know if Hacky Sack was a minute back then, but maybe. A question for you. Do you ever play with your food? Of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that Jesus ever played with his food? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. What about, like, do you think he ever took his cereal bowl and he parted the milk and he's like, I'm parting the Red Sea. <laughs> I don't think so. I wonder if he made his broccoli walk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'm not sure if broccoli was around back then. Remember? It's genetically modified. But he probably knew about it. Maybe that's, maybe that's why Jesus was born when he was, so that he could avoid broccoli. He was born before broccoli was invented. You think? <laughs> Who's there? Diana. What? What are some of the rules in our house? Uh, not to kiss people's butts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, that's a great, great rule. I love that we started off with that one. Hey, Max, question for you. Um, what do you have to do every morning? Uh, brush my teeth. And what else? Make my bed. What else? Okay, getting my clothes on. Okay. So, what happens when you don't do those things? Make you feel like this small. Uh, yeah. So we do family contributions, right? We help each other out. Yes. I think that's what God wanted us to do was to help one another, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to be kind to one another. We're called to love each other as we love ourselves. <laughs> How are we supposed to treat one another? Um, by not yelling at them. Okay. What and, else? And by not being naughty to each other. Well, what does that look like? Not being naughty, it looks like this. Hi, hey. <laughs> and not even doing anything. Like, ah. what about like when we ignore one another? Oh, that makes us feel sad. We're not allowed to ignore others. Yeah, we don't ignore each other. Oh, yeah, what about but if someone's doing a really naughty thing, we got kind of have to ignore them. Yeah, well, this is true, right? Be the bigger person. <laughs> Banana who? Knock, knock. What about someone who budges in line? Is that person the line leader? They just no. step to the front of the line and they say, doot, 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 doot. 
I'm the leader. No. <laughs> Is that how no. it works at school? No. Do you respect that person when they cut in line? Not a, a, sometimes I get mad. So when someone hurts your feelings and they've been really mean to you, you want to run around, you want to yell, you want to get mad. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What? Things affect others. They do affect others. So when we get really mad and angry, does that make things better? <laughs> no. What should you do, Max, when someone hurts your feelings? Them? How do you do, how do you do that? They have to say sorry first. They do. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. What do you think, Max? Do they have to say sorry first? So what if someone never says they're sorry, yeah. but they don't really mean it? So then what? That's hard to forgive. It is, but are we still supposed to forgive them? Yes. Yes. So Max, what should we do? Say sorry. I forgive you. Just say it. I forgive Just you. I forgive you. Just move on, huh? Mm -hmm. Maybe move on, life. move on with life. Maybe just trust that that person needs some love from God, and mm -hmm. God's gonna take care of that, right? Yeah. Who's there? Orange. Oh, phew. orange who? Orange, I got. I didn't say banana. Yes, actually, I am. How about somebody who takes your toys? Ooh, I'd be very mad. What about you, Max? Very mad. Somebody takes your stuff. This has been really insightful. Thanks for your deep thoughts, boys. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, thank you for this interview. Your mac and cheese is done. <laughs> Bye, friends. <laughs>